Hi guys, another update. Um, I don't know whether you're aware, but my phone was sto stolen on Saturday night. Um, I know I'm looking a bit rough, but what do you expect? Um, all my belongings are either stolen or I'm unable to uh, to get to the bottom of it. Um, I'm not happy, very frustrated, very wound up, uh, still alive though, so that's one positive I suppose you could call it. Um, I've decided to try and get a case against the uh, authority here, not only the authority here, but every authority that's ever um that's ever uh kept me detained and not because they kept me detained but because of the of what goes along with it and that being this medication um i had a very uh deep sort of personal conversation with my rc responsible clinician consultant doctor whatever you want to call him Yesterday, my mother was on the phone. This silly little care called this silly little uh, upstart um, social worker was also there, as was the junior doctor and the uh, and a member of staff and the um, person who takes the notes of um, of uh, what has been said. Um, I did say to the doctor directly that I've had a lot better more friendly, more approachable, more uh, kind um, doctors. Now, I don't completely blame him for the way he is. He's dealing with a lot of South East London gangster types, um, people that wouldn't think twice about putting a gun to your head and, 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 and you know, some quite heavy dudes. I mean, I'm not in a high secure area, but I am in a... It's kind of an omission to either a lot heavier places or not necessarily or the other way around where you go to uh back to a normal ward uh, you know it's called an acute ward uh, which is apparently where i'm going um i don't know what they're going to put me through but they keep talking about this mood Disorder M double O D a mood and now this all came about in 2014. This whole concept, it's another, it's another. Um, it's I don't know what you call it really. I mean they say that I go from being very irritable to very elated, and uh, the truth is, and it, you know people don't really agree with me and, and don't accept what I'm saying, but I've said this a million times about this medication, Respiridone, and uh, it does take you to hell, and then you use energy drinks to lift your mood, and then that's how you get the imbalance, and, you know, so the, the fact, the truth of the matter is, and the accurate, the accurate picture is the fact that it's their medication that's caused further symptoms, which they then put you on more drugs to, c to control those symptoms. And it's just, and that's the way it is. That's the way it works. It's a, uh, it's completely, uh, well, I'm sick of using the word evil, but it's, it's a pretty twisted system um, that is designed to, I mean, I'm not going to say this is all deliberate, but I, th it's, it, it, you know, you think about it, it does seem to be that way. Um, so, you know, um, I'm now trying to get off the ground a solicitor with a heart, and I don't think they exist. I think it's all pure greed, pure money, um, business, and you know, business is a, is a, is a cutthroat. Um, concept, you know, it's a cutthroat, uh, uh, you know, um, it's a cutthroat, uh, in you know, uh, way of life, 
um, and I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get legal aid and what I'd like is to have it out in Strasbourg, you know, the European Court of Human Rights and I don't really want to go this far but the, the problem is is that this is not going to end for me, you see. I'm 40, I've spent 20, uh, roughly 18 years within the mental health system um, on and off and you know, we could go into great detail about how and why I wasn't on medication in Nottingham. And, uh, you know, the fact remains that they kind of let me go. And and now they're saying that because I haven't been on medication, that is how this has all been created. But they won't accept the fact that, and like people know, you know, it on Burford Road and other people and other conversations I've had with people in the Nottingham area, um, including GCHQ and other underground people. And, you know, this whole conversation the doctor is using against me as a, as a delusional belief, um, when, you know, there were choppers hovering regularly over our, our, my house, our house, whatever you want to call it, in Burford Road, NG76BD. And what they were doing is anybody's guess. I mean, I don't think they can see into your property. Uh, I mean, I think they can from the satellites from space, but not, I, I don't know. And I, I mean, I do want to know because that's what's caused me to be in this mess is the fact that, you know, they, I, I got driven around the bend um, and yeah, I could blame myself and say that, you know, maybe I could have handled things differently and, but what happened happened and what has happened has happened and, you know, it's become another incarceration, a lock up um, and, you know, it does irritate me and wind me up and make me very stressed out. And the staff, as I've said in other videos, do wind you up and uh, they do try and get a reaction out of you. And, and then they use that reaction as a, as, as, as a way of saying to the doctor, ah, well, look, this is the way he is, you know, so it's catch 22. But what I've done is now I'm not I'm not reacting to anything. I'm staying completely um, stone dead, if you like. And you know, that is working to my advantage because they can't say that, you know, A, B and C has happened because A, B and C ain't going to happen. Um, and that, luckily, thank God, is is my sort of defence um, and my reason and my health and my understanding of how to handle things from now on anyways um i know i've been offline for a couple of days that's because of obviously the phone's been stolen um i've got it back and i'm using it now but it's been taken apart but it still works thank god i bought a new one which is arriving on friday um yeah stay t stay tuned guys um you know if you want to talk to me write to me message me whatever you want to do if you can help me or you know of any way of, um, you know, from what I've said, assisting me in, in getting this to the European Court of Human Rights and under Article 8, which says that you shouldn't have to, 9-11, then you shouldn't have to uh, put anything in your body that doesn't agree with you and you don't agree to. But the Capacity Act overrides that, but the Capacity Act states that if you can understand and you can, you know, it, it sinks in the reason why you need medication and you've made a, a rational decision, then they can't force it on you. But yet they are still doing that to me. So they are breaking the law, but it's such a grey area that no one wants to touch it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Bye for now.